Well, it's Mother's Day. If you have a mother in your life, be sure to appreciate her today. Today has gotten me thinking about the importance of mothers. I'm not saying that fathers aren't important too. They definitely are, but it is Mother's Day. And how many times have you seen the camera zoom in on an athlete and what do they say? Hi, mom. I know it's not true in all situations, but mothers do tend to be nurturers. Mothers form a strong bond with their children from the day they're born. I would even say before they're born. Mothers are able to be their children's greatest cheerleaders, and they're also able to keep them in line. Mothers are often the ones who kiss the boo-boos and dry the tears and listen to the stories of the day. I'm not saying that dads don't do this too, they do, but it is Mother's Day. And mothers get a bad rap at times. I'm sure you've all heard about helicopter moms, tiger moms, and I've even heard some moms describe themselves as mama bear, which brings to mind a particular kind of mother. You know, the Bible is full of examples of great mothers. Jochebed was the mother of Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. She showed tremendous faith in God. To avoid the mass slaughter of Hebrew boys, she put her baby in a basket and placed him in the Nile River, hoping that someone would find him and raise him. Well, God worked it so that the baby was found by Pharaoh's daughter, and Jochebed even became her own son's nurse. How about Hannah, the mother of Samuel? Hannah never gave up on God. She had a son, Samuel, in her old age, and she did something entirely selfless to honor her promise to God. She gave her son to God's service. And then there's Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, another mother who gave birth in her old age. She named her baby John, as an angel had instructed her to do. And she dedicated her son to God, and he became a great prophet. And of course, there's Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary was a young girl, but she accepted God's plan for her life as the mother of the Messiah. She's a great example of obedience and submission to God's plans. Well, you know, these mothers weren't perfect. Even Mary wasn't perfect. And it's okay that we're not perfect either. Parenting is a hard job. Our primary goal as mothers, and as fathers too, by the way, should be to help our children have a heart that is willing to let God guide their lives. We do that by helping them learn important skills, like how to respond appropriately when they are disappointed, corrected, or given instruction, developing our children's relationships with God, preparing them for their futures by teaching them about obedience, honor, sacrifice, working hard, and handling anger. If you are interested in learning more about how to instill these traits into your children or your grandchildren, I would love to hear from you. You can write Roy at pavementandpotholes at gmail.com and he will get the message to me. I am not a parenting expert myself, but I have discovered some wonderful resources that may be helpful to you. So, Roy and I have a message <laughs> for all you mothers out there. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! And as always, keep walking with Jesus. See you next week.